<coughs> okay, good afternoon. If we would like to begin with Paul and get things started. Mauricio, good afternoon. Have, good afternoon. Have you any new injury concerns and could Kovacic feature at some point tomorrow? But, uh, Fabregas uh, is out for this match. I hope he will be able to be on the pitch in the next week. I am not sure. Nothing serious, but uh, he has a very uh, unusual uh, injury. Nothing serious. Uh, I hope in the next uh, in the next uh, week uh, we will be able to have a training uh, with the mates. Can you say what the unusual injury is? How did he do that? Uh, nothing serious, but uh, he has a pain, uh, not in the knee, near the knee, but not in. Uh, question on Eden Hazard. When you hear about Kevin De Bruyne's injury this week, does that bring into focus perhaps the need to, to manage his return after a busy summer of football? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen the, 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 the injury of the Bruin. Uh, I don't know, but uh, at this level, uh, Players uh, play a, a lot of games in uh, in the season, uh, so I think for them uh, it's very dangerous. What have you said to Eden Hazard? Have you talked to Eden Hazard about the fact the Spanish transfer window is still open? And are you no, still no, worried no. about a bid materializing from Real Madrid? I have spoken with him uh, very often in uh, the last 10 days, but uh, he has never uh, said to me anything about this, so uh, I am sure that uh, Eden uh, uh, will be with us uh, for this season. And on N'Golo Kante, he played in a more advanced role last season, uh, last week, sorry. What did you make of his performance and what do you think he brings to that? Position. But I think that uh, Kanté, for physical uh, characteristics, is uh, ve ve very <coughs> quick to be ready to play. Uh, and so he played very well in the last uh, in the last match. Uh, he is uh, ready, but for the other players uh, of the World Cup, uh, I think is a little bit uh, different. <coughs> Moose? Um, Arsenal found it difficult last week against Manchester City. Um, For everybody, it's difficult <laughs> against Manchester City, <laughs> I think. Fair enough. Um, what, did you, what do you make of Arsenal, who are also in transition under Unai Emery? But uh, I think that uh, Emery is a very good coach. He won uh, three times the Europa League. He won in France with the PSG and I think Arsenal in uh, this season will be competitive. Uh, I think that uh, they will be able to, to fight for uh, a place in the uh, Champions League. The one position that people looking at Chelsea wonder about in terms of this season being successful is centre forward. Alvaro Mata wasn't a big hit but I am not worried uh, about uh, Morata. Morata uh, is a very great player. Uh, I think that uh, in this moment uh, he needs only to, to, to gain confidence. But uh, he is a great player. John. Do you think he's, he is low on confidence at the moment? Is that a problem? But maybe, uh, maybe he needs to score. Uh, 
as uh, uh, all the strikers in the world, I think. But uh, he needs to to gain confidence to to. But he's improving, so I am not really worried about him. How would you how would you describe your first month in charge as Chelsea manager? Have you enjoyed it? Has it been a bit frustrating? No, uh, it has been very difficult, uh, but uh, I think uh, in this season it has been very difficult for 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 every club, especially for the the, the most important clubs. Uh, with the, the World Cup, uh, with the the friendly matches, uh, one in Australia, one in uh, Dublin, one in France. Uh, so it has been difficult, but uh, we started to work all together only ten days ago, I think. So we have uh, we have to work, we have to to improve. But in my opinion, uh, in two months uh, we we can be a very a very good team. But I think that uh, in in this moment uh, in the English football there is a club uh, above the other, and this club is the Manchester City. But uh, we have to try to do our best. Uh, we have to try to reach our uh, 101 percent of our potential. I think. And then we have to see. <laughs> I, I I don't know now what uh, can happen. At the, um, but uh, my feel uh, my feeling is that uh, we can be a, a very good team. Do you think Manchester City are quite a long way ahead of everybody else? But in in this moment, uh, I think so. Uh, we have to work to 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 reduce the gap. Okay, Liam. Maurizio. Um, oh, where, where, where? where? No. <laughs> Hello. Um, just on the subject of Mateo Kovacic, um, I saw some comments from you earlier this week saying that you think he can make a big impact for Chelsea this season. Um, how ready is he physically, and what are you expecting him to bring to Chelsea? But I think Mateo will be very useful for us. Uh, he's a very technical player. Uh, in this moment, uh, he has to work. Uh, I think he's not ready now for 90 minutes, but maybe tomorrow for for the first uh, 30 or for the last uh, 30 minutes can can be used. Uh, I expect uh, a lot uh, from him. Uh, because for me is uh, a very great player and uh, in my opinion he can improve more. So where, where do you um, see his position in this midfield? Do you see him playing deeper or slightly more advanced? But uh, I think uh, he can play in uh, the three midfielders. Center right or center left is, is is the same for him, I think. But uh, he's a very very good offensive uh, player. But uh, he had improved uh, in the defensive phase in the last two years in Madrid. Okay, last two, Stefano. Uh, in Italian or in English? In English. In English. <laughs> I say, uh, no, one, one, one. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first uh, time uh, in Stanford Bridge, I'm uh, looking forward. I'm uh, looking forward because uh, I will be the coach of uh, one of the most important club in Europe in uh, one of the most important stadiums uh, in Europe for uh, my first uh, London Derby. And so I'm looking forward for it. Uh, per Genova ti rispondo in italiano. Uh, è 
un disastro mostruoso. E sono veramente vicino alla popolazione di Genova, a tutte le persone di Genova, perché è un disastro mostruoso con tanti morti e, e con conseguenze purtroppo che la città si porterà dietro per anni, quindi eh, sono veramente vicino a, ai genovesi. Poi è un terribile disastro e vicino alla popolazione di Genova e le conseguenze di quello che è successo saranno per un lungo tempo. Ok, credo che lasciamo qui. Grazie a tutti, camera off, per favore.